Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been a hot minute since I have been on here. I have taken a three month hiatus and I am so, so sorry for being gone for so long. I moved into my office space on March 1st and I was keeping up with YouTube right when I moved in. I was taking you guys along with me for the entire move in day, setting up my furniture, redecorating, all of that. However, I did fall off for a little bit and it has been three months since my last video. So we are back officially. I am so excited to be back here. I truly feel like I have been just missing something in my business and I love YouTube. I love all the friends that I've made on here and I am so happy to be back. You guys have missed a lot over the last three months. If you follow me on social media, then you are definitely caught up with my shop, but on YouTube, you guys have missed a lot. We've done some really cute custom unit orders for groups of healthcare workers and nurses. We've had a few very successful launches and we finally hit 10K on Instagram. My business has grown so much in the last few months and I am so appreciative and so thankful for you guys for being here and following my journey. For today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys along for a full office tour. It is so overdue and the last time you guys saw my office, I was still doing renos. I was still building and setting up a lot of things. So here we are three months later and pretty much everything is fully set up in my office. The only exception of that is my little kitchenette area that I have recently just been working on. I recently just got a super cute teal mini fridge to match my office. So in my next video, you will see the unboxing for the fridge, the stocking for the fridge, and where we're putting it. I am so excited to give you guys a full tour of my office. It is literally my dream office. I love it here so much. And with everything that I've done to it, I truly feel like it has just made me so much more efficient as a business owner. And I just feel so much happier when I enter this office. It is honestly my little happy place. And I am so excited to share how it looks today. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. Starting off at the front of my office, you walk in, I have beautiful windows at the front that just bring so much light in. I rarely ever have to turn the lights on, which I absolutely love. This is one of my favorite little corners in my office with my couch and my mirror. I got this couch on sale at the Brick for, I think it was $300 Canadian. It was originally supposed to be $1,700, but there was a huge X-Acto knife slit on the back of the couch. So I got it for $300 and I do not mind the slit at all. It's the back of it. They'll never see it. And it is literally the most perfect color I could have ever have imagined. I picked out the wall color in here without actually seeing this couch. And coincidentally, they are like pretty much the exact same color. And it just is such a nice compliment with the teal on the other side of my office. And I just love this little love seat so much. I am also obsessed with this mirror. I got this mirror from HomeSense. It just really fit my office so well. And I just had to have it. <laughs> Of course, I love my little corner with my couch and my mirror, but this area really tops the cake for me. I love my desk area so much. When I was initially planning out my office, I knew that I wanted my desk to not be against a wall and to just be open and facing the office. And of course, my neon sign that I got for my office was just an absolute must. I just really needed something to kind of fill up this wall because it was very plain. And I just thought that putting a neon sign with my business name would just be the cutest little touch. Obviously I had to make my office super cute, but I also had to make it very functional as well. So this area is so functional for me. I absolutely love the way that the layout is. I have my Ikea dressers that I took from my old office that are filled with all of my transfers, all of my vinyl, all of that stuff. And then I have my Cricut and my printer right on top as well. And that just eliminates me having to put those anywhere else. So it is just the perfect little area for my desk. Behind my desk is where all of the magic happens. I love I love having my heat press here because it is just so central to my computer and my Cricut if I am working on a project that requires me to go back and forth a lot and I just like to have the space here as well. So I have my heat press here and then I have my pad where I also will add on the logos onto my shirts as well. 
I also got this cute little tabletop garbage on Amazon. It is so easy when I am pressing apparel and I have the leftover transfer paper to just wave it from motion and just throw it in there. This is where most of my apparel is stored. I have this super big shelving unit that I got from Lowe's. It is a five tier. It is super big. I love that I can just fit so many sweaters on it. So I have all of my era sweaters folded on here and then I have some of my embroidered nurse crew necks and some more era sweaters on this side as well. So along with my apparel storage, this is also where I have all of my enamel pins. I organized all my enamel pins by name. I labeled everything and I got these super cute cardboard boxes from Staples. It came with around a pack of 100 and they are so perfect for putting my enamel pins in because my enamel pins are just so small and they don't really need a whole lot of storage. Just in front of that area, I have my folding table here. I get asked so many questions about where I got this table from. Unfortunately, this table is one of a kind and it was built for me by my uncle. I am so obsessed with this table. It is like the perfect height. It is the perfect folding table. So I just have that right there. This area is my packaging station. I feel like I'm gonna say every spot of my office is my favorite, but like this really is my favorite. <laughs> These high top tables were also built by my uncle. He built everything against the wall so that I have completely open storage underneath these tables and that they are also very, very sturdy. When I envisioned my office, I really wanted a big packaging station. In my previous office that I was running out of my house, packaging was always so limited. I never had space. The only true table space that I had was my table that my uncle built for me and I was always having to just switch everything off projects that I was currently working on and then packing orders I was constantly just rotating everything on the one table because it was really the only space that I had since then I am so much more efficient on this table and it's so perfect when I do have help and people packing orders with me because they'll get their own section here and then I'm right next to them and we are like so far away from each other we have so much room to work with and it just makes things so much easier easier for everyone. I do still want to put a few finishing touches on this area. I really want to do a neon sign above this area as well. I also do want to come up with a better system for my stickers because I just feel like I am adding so many stickers and I am going to run out of space to have these containers. So I'm thinking about doing some sort of wall storage with like shelving units and having all my stickers just sit into those onto the wall. But that will be a project that I will have to look into and kind of figure out the details of. So in terms of my packaging station, I have pretty much everything that I'm gonna need here to pack orders. I have my thank you cards here. I have some clear cello bags that I use for my enamel pins and my stickers. I have some business cards here, my cards here for my enamel pins, and then I had my washing instruction cards here, which I have actually discontinued using. So that will probably just become more storage for my enamel pin cards or business cards. And then moving on, I have all of my stickers that I use to write everyone's addresses on whenever I am sending out any non-tracked mail, like sticker mail or enamel pin mail. And then beside that, I have some colorful markers that I use to write everyone's name on my thank you cards. And then I just have a bunch of black Sharpies of different sizes. I have some sticky notes here. And then coming over into the corner, I have clothing tags. I have a lint roller, some scissors. And then here I just keep packing slips that I print out and orders that I'm still working on. I will just put them there so that I don't lose them. And then I also have some stickers hanging, some fragile stickers, do not bend stickers. And then I have my stamps for sending out any sticker mail. In this corner here, I have some more packaging stuff that I use to send out orders. I got this little basket storage from Ikea and it is just such a game changer. It is the perfect size. It holds my poly mailers so well. And I honestly would get another one of these and put it beside if I had the space, just because it's so easily accessible to grab stuff out of. Everything on the top here is just very random stuff. I'll usually use this space for just extra supplies, my tape, have a spare clothing tag. In these drawers, I have all of my clear bags that I use for packaging orders. So I have a small size, a large size, and then here I have have all of my poly mailers, which are very, very disorganized. Also in this corner, I have my thermal printer. I have my scale, my extension cord that I use to plug in a bunch of stuff. And then I have a few different styles 
of gift boxes, regular shipping boxes, and then a bunch of these leftover air spaces for whenever I need to send out a package that requires them. This little storage unit here is just extra space for packaging. So this is where I hold all of my hard mailers that I send out all of my stickers in. I have some bubble mailers that I will use to send out my enamel pins in. And then I just have some extra mailers and some gift bags that I also use for pickup orders and any gift bags. We are in an area that I really don't show much when I am showing my office on my social media or really on YouTube either. This space is really just used for storage and it is tucked away right behind the wall. So it is really perfect and you don't really see it when I am just showing my office as an overview. So I really like that a lot because it just keeps this area a little bit private and allows me to be a little bit messy back here without totally exposing me. <laughs> this wall was already built when I came in. It was unfinished. There were like metal pieces sticking out. There was like insulation hanging. So when I got this office space, a part of the renos, my uncle did completely finish off this wall for me. And I believe he made it a little bit shorter as well. So as you can see, I have all of my bins. They are all labeled by color and size. This is just extra inventory that I have, extra stock that I have that I use for custom apparel and a bunch of made to order apparel as well. And then behind this door is my washroom. So funny story, when I gave my uncle the paint color to paint this teal wall, I ended up choosing a way darker teal. And so he did the bathroom first, thank God. <laughs> And I came to my office and I looked at the color and I loved it, but it was way darker than what I wanted for out here. So I was very relieved that he didn't like paint the entire wall that color and he just did the washroom. So after I saw the color, I said to him to just finish up the washroom and I'm gonna go back and get a lighter color for the outside. So my bathroom is very, very teal and I love it now because it is just such a cute little touch. You walk in and it's like, whoa. <laughs> I love that about it. And I also love that it is a different color from the outside because it just gives it a bit more dimension and just makes it a little bit more unique as well. I absolutely love my washroom. I have dolled it up a little bit with this cute little carpet that I got from Dollarama. This little dresser I found at a restore that I just use for extra toilet paper, extra towels, stuff like that. This is the last part of my office. I brought over this cube storage from my old office. I don't use it a whole lot for storing apparel just because of the way that the sun hits it is definitely a more dusty area and especially with the front door being there and opening and closing it is an area where it's just more dusty and just requires a little bit more cleaning so i do like to keep the majority of my stock at the back of my office just so that it is less exposed to dust in the air and all that and then also in this area i have this four month calendar that i got on amazon and it has been an absolute game changer for me it has allowed me to be so much more organized and to plan so many months ahead and just have a really good visual of what the few months ahead look like. This was a very exciting purchase that I have always dreamed about owning. I follow so many other small businesses that use these and it was always a dream of mine to just be able to have one and actually need it. I got this for my office. I believe this is the 12 gallon. I got this on the Uline website. It's great for when I'm packing orders because I'll just throw everything in here and then wheel it over to my front door and either load it into my car with everything or have it easily accessible for whenever I do UPS pickup or FedEx pickup. And then obviously we have the front of my office, which has the large windows that I had mentioned and my super cute rainbow welcome mat. And I also have a shoe rack here with some slippers on it. And it is a rule in my office that when you come in, you have to switch over to slippers. And then in this corner here, I believe I did have a video previously showing me painting that, but it is a table that was my nana's and I painted it teal to match the colors in here and that area is where I keep my keys and my door stopper to keep my door open. It has been so much fun showing you guys my office and finally having everything completely done to show you. It is truly my dream office in here and I am just so happy and so grateful to be in this space. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on new videos. Also comment down below and let me know what area is your favorite in my office. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.